Crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com, joined by Adam Zeiss, and this is technically my Sunday night from the editor's desk post, or supposed, I'm supposed to do Sunday night, but I found out Adam was coming to visit, so it's actually Monday now, and I said, you know what, let's just do this in video, last week was a huge week, and we're going to do this in 10 minutes or less, so when this thing hits zero, we stop no matter where we're at. Um, Adam, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm pretty excited that you waited for your editor's desk post just for me. Just for you. It's, well, it's special whenever you come visit. And our time in New York is kind of, well, my time at our temporary New York HQ is kind of coming close to an end. It is. So I want to maximize all the, you know, pre-recorded, live recorded with you stuff we can do because after Blackberry Live, which is coming up mid-May, I'm going back to Canada probably for the summer. Until you find a new office someplace else. Someplace else. I haven't spent much of uh, 2013 at home, <laughs> really. <laughs> Between Vegas and CES and Toronto for the BlackBerry 10 launch in Canada and now New York for the BlackBerry 10 launch here and uh, everything else. That's, that's I've been living on the road, living out of a suitcase for the most part. Sure. But uh, it was a huge week last week for me. Mm -hmm. So you were here, the last From the Editor's Desk video I did with Renee Ritchie and Alex Doby, and we titled it The Storm Before the Storm, Before the Storm, Before the Torch, Before the Storm, but not that storm. And I, we basically said things were already crazy and we're about to get crazier. And last week was. So we got this guy, we did. literally 10 hours after we recorded that last video. So we went to town working on a review. Uh, which was a little messed up because at the same time last week, we had our TM13 week in New York. Now, we've been teasing TM13 a little bit, so there's been lots of speculation of what it is. I'm not going to say the word mind-blowing because I did that once before and got it, you know, crap from everybody for <laughs> building up the expectation too much. Uh, so we're going to say it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you followed the sites for years, you remember the smartphone round robin? I do, but I still don't know what TM13 is. Oh yeah, you don't. It's been very hush-hush Kev secretive. Kevin secretive. leaves me out of the loop. Even he, he assumes that I know things that I don't really know, so I yeah. honestly still have no idea what TM13 is. But. So TM13 stands for Mobile Nations The Movie, Okay. which you're not part of. We cut yeah. you. We, we wrote you into the script and we cut oh, you out. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. There you go. No, not quite. Um, it built upon our round robins of the past. Now the round robin, for people who don't know, basically we got all of our sites involved and the editors of the sites would like switch phones and you know me as a BlackBerry user would go iOS or Android or you know before that Windows Mobile and Palm and everything and uh, it was good you know, it was a good way to get all our communities engaged together and to see you know as a person as a BlackBerry user who values that sort of BlackBerry way of doing things actually trying out the other platforms um, you know for for TM13 which people don't know what it means you know maybe it means too much too much 13? Too much 13? I don't know. Uh, we're, we're doing more with it. Um, we had to rethink the event a little bit because times have changed, you know? And, and we didn't do this event the last couple of years because we were waiting. We were waiting for a new Windows Phone platform. We were waiting for a new BlackBerry platform. But now that it's here, the time is right. So we're, we're doing what we used to do, but we're doing a lot more than that. Because so the, the old round robin used to be a big pain in the butt, right? Because you started out sending phones back and forth. And it's then complete. I think Complete pain in the, the ass. The last time everyone was together in Vegas, but still it was all Orlando. In, we did Orlando. It in Orlando. It was packed into a couple of days, and it was really rushed and annoying, right? It was crazy. And uh, this year we're doing it different. So last week in New York, we had a lot of our editors come out. We had some special guests this year. So we have Callie Lewis and John P from Geek Beat TV, who are were our hosts Ooh. to keep us on track. And over the course of you know four days, four and a half days, we produced just a ton of video content, uh, which we'll be using on the web as we start to run, you know, TM13 in the, uh, the weeks and months ahead. Uh, so we got a bunch of the groundwork done. And I gotta say, Callie Lewis and John P are awesome. You know, I've always followed them online, but uh, working with them was a ton of fun. And I totally sold them hard on BlackBerry 10. That's good. Um, I'll put some photos in this post so you guys can see how good, you know, BlackBerry looks in Callie's hands. It's pretty awesome. And uh, it was just a fun week. But on top of the TM13 craziness, we had this phone to review. Uh, so it was a bit of a team effort. I'm not gonna say it was, it was a good review, largely because of you and Blaze and, and Simon. Simon. Sure. 
And I was using the phone all week, but I had like no real writing time. Right. And, you know, being honest, we put a little credit on the thing. <laughs> so I was like giving all my bullet points of feedback on the phone, and then Adam is writing as Kevin, and Simon was editing it, and in the end, it was pretty much a factory review. Sure. But we're going to be doing a ton of follow-up content because there's just a lot more to do. You know, that we had only a few days to pump out uh, a first review of the Q10. I think it came out, I mean, ultimately it turned out pretty well given, you know, the amount of time. It was probably one of the shortest review periods. I mean, the Z10 one, we had maybe a week or so, or a little over a week, and this week, when did you get it last? We got Friday. it Friday, the review went up Tuesday. So, we, you know, we got like four days. So I, yeah. I came in Friday afternoon, so I had, you know, maybe 24 hours or something like that to play around with it. And uh, we started working on the review. What we did, we went back and forth. Kevin kept the device here, and I went back home and started writing. You know, and he would just send me random messages, make sure you do this, make sure you do this, make sure you do this. And then I think we spent a couple hours on it one night, kind of going hardcore before you passed out and yeah. fixing everything. So no, it was crazy. Overall, I mean, kind of a not a hard phone to review though for people who know BlackBerry Ten sure. now. And I mean, we reviewed the Z Ten. Uh, overall, I mean, a great phone. Absolutely, I love it. Uh, kind of the no compromise traditional BlackBerry, right? They, you know, in the past, it was like every time we reviewed sort of a BlackBerry Bold, there was always something that could be better. You know, so even going back to the 9900, we loved the phone, but then they put in a small battery. Right. And uh, we wanted a bigger display. And on this, you have a really stretched out display. You have a nice keyboard, big battery. Overall, really good, right? Everything, Absolutely. everything you want in uh, the traditional BlackBerry. Now for that question of Q10 versus Z10, we're going to do that in another video. Um, it's funny, people have been accusing us of being a little light on the content lately, so we're gonna, we're gonna step it up now. We're having too much fun, not enough hard work. That must be it. So we're not gonna do any more content this video, we're just gonna like do it in under 10 minutes. Okay. And then come back with another video. Very informative. Absolutely. Well, everything we do is extremely informative, I think. What else do you wanna talk about today? You have, well, three, you have three minutes. Your editor's desk. So. Three minutes, 13 seconds. Oh, yeah. My editor's desk. BlackBerry Live is coming up. BlackBerry Live is coming up. I'm super excited this time around for BlackBerry Live. So, it's be awesome. should, I, should we tell people what we're going to be doing there now? Or, or should we wait till it's actually Can we have a cool secret hashtag that I know about that we don't tell anybody about? Fjord, do it. Can it be like CBL13? CBL13. What would that stand for? I don't know. It's a secret. It up. Hashtag CBL13. But it doesn't matter what it stands for because only I know. Okay. The other thing we, we're working on, so Renee Ritchie, our illustrious editor-in-chief of our iOS sibling Ooh. site, iMore. He's waving. He's waving at us right now. He said, me and Adam, we're not so good on film because I talk too sure. fast and too much and you talk too slow and, and too I quiet. I not argue with him. So we're trying to get better. Is this good? Maybe we should practice like some fake laughs. laughs. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Can we just do like our montage of faces? Who was it like John Belushi went through, the, you know, the angry face, happy face? What was it with the... I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. No, it's that movie where the hands come up all the time. Remember? It's like. No, I definitely <laughs> don't remember that. Like, I guess on camera, it's like hands are. What am I supposed to do with my hands? Uh, I don't know. What? That. It's from something. I feel like you lost it. Okay. Bring it back. So uh, we have 1 minute 57 seconds. Let's do it in under 10 minutes. Screw yeah. this. The first time ever we're going to do something under the amount of time. Under the amount of time. Because this was just from the editor's desk post. It's not supposed to be meaningful. Can we throw in like some random video? To fill People can't. Video? You can't even leave a comment saying this video sucks because it's my video. Like it's my from the editor's desk post. And I chose intentionally to make this kind of a useless video just to say hi. Uh, last week was crazy. Now the next two weeks we're going to actually work really hard to do some great content. And also I got like... My hair is not crazy, and I got really freaked out when I was going back through Crackberry, mm -hmm. looking at some of the content we did towards the end of January when my hair was, you know, had a year of growth behind it. Scary. So now I'm watching those videos, and when I have like the goatee, <laughs> and I don't know, it's it's a little freaky. So we're gonna redo a bunch of content, and you guys already gave us a bunch of ideas for videos. So over the next few days, that's what we're gonna work on: Perfect. quality content. That's the way we do it. Not this stuff. No longer is it just good enough. It's this quality. video doesn't count as quality content. So this, this is, is complete the, filler. This is the end of the non-quality content. Yeah. And we have 45 seconds. We should just throw some regasly in here or something. I don't even know. Maybe. I don't know if we can pick it up. Do you or think just, we could work? Talk. I don't know. Talk. Say something. Adam. Can we do our fake box again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, this yeah, is really so horrible. I don't think people are even laughing at this. It's all down now. But they chose to watch it, just like you said. So you could Even the guys in the room were like, this is the worst the podcast kind of you've ever right done. Now. Renee's just shaking his head. I can feel it. I don't even have to look at him. Yeah. But, you know, I could do this and it'll save it all. Oh, oh there's an ad. We don't have time. Oh. Is it a Blackberry? We blew it. This is crap. This is terrible. We went very far downhill. What the heck? Seven seconds that oh, we can no. rip. Oh. oh. No, time's up. You said we were going to stop. Now it's going to end. And this is the worst editor's desk video we've ever done. Even our camera guy, Martin, is just laughing. He's such a professional and he's just dying behind the camera. I don't know okay, what to do. wardrobe change. We'll be right back next week. See ya! That was really shitty. That was pretty bad. Cut! <laughs>